Good morning. My name is Joe Cashwell with Rotorcraft RC. Rotorcraft RC is the custom charge case building division for Rotary Wing RC. What we have here is a custom case that we built for ourselves. We just wanted to prove that it could be done and everything would work the way we were thinking up here. So one of the things we wanted to do was mount two 4010s inside of a 940 case. This wasn't that hard. We could pretty much put that on CAD and figure out whether it was going to fit or not. The one thing we really wanted to do was be able to have storage with an illuminated logo. And how we came up with doing this is Chris actually cut a piece of half inch acrylic, scene seed it out, then stepped it, and then built a frame out of the same material that we do the deck. Put the carbon fiber on it, gave it a nice uh, picture frame effect. But then if you look, the acrylic, because it's so thick, actually protrudes out from the bottom of the framework. And then what we did is we mortised in red LEDs into the side of the case. So when you shut it, it injects into the side of the acrylic. Gives a really neat effect. But when you open up, it actually lights up the inside of your box. A couple things we found out on some of the smaller boxes, if you're looking for a small connector, you're in the evening or early morning flying, it's kind of dark in there. So the LEDs actually give a really neat effect. Uh, the other thing that we did is we did put the touch latch on it. We're starting to put these on everything now. We're having a lot of fun. Now, because the door is such a short throw, what we have is the way it grabs the ball, we can't buy the cheaper ones. We have to buy the better ones to where the post is actually loose or else it won't shut because it's such a short throw between the hinge and the latch. So if you're going out to buy these for yourself, do not buy the ones with the fixed pole. You have to buy the one with the two-piece latch. That way that pole will move around and it'll line up for shutting. It, it's catastrophe if you don't. Once again, the 92 millimeter digital fans. We did put the 8S balance boards from the 308 duos. So even though this is a 4010, which is 40 amps up to 10S, iCharger felt the need to put in a 6S balance connector. So you can not charge 7S unless you plug into the front of the charger or use an um, aftermarket balance board. So what we did is we took four of the balance boards from the 308 Duos and plugged it in here. So now you have the abilities to charge up to 8S, which everybody normally goes to 7. Uh, we put an iPad up in the upper lid. That's for digital signage. You can basically go in and do a wallpaper file to where it'll scroll through six or seven different um, of your sponsor's logos or your favorite helis or whatever you want to do, even your family and kids. Yes, us helicopter pilots do have family and kids. Um, we have a 106B in the upper deck. This is for charging uh, the NICADs and flight packs and transmitter packs and stuff like that. So we just wanted a small charger. That way you're not eating up one of the big chargers for doing some of the small uh, battery packs. Tried a new effect on uh, one of our logos. It actually came out really good. Um, Chris has been really experimenting with some different dyes and, and techniques of putting the dyes on. And um, uh, this is one right here and it actually has a, a nice soft look to it, not overpowering. We didn't want to take away from this. Um, this is one of the most beautiful cases we've even done, ever done. Uh, Joe Reyes did a fantastic job on the Raps Force once again with Team Ninja. Uh, we actually took a, a plastic dye and dyed the 4010 charger so you don't have that ugly ass white. And I hate to say ass on YouTube, but that was ugly ass color they came up with. And within a year and a half, it's starting to yellow. So that black dye is going to solve that issue. Uh, the iPad does pop out, and we do have an option that if you want to charge it, you can charge it. This case, we do not. Um, this case, the new iPad Airs and, and the new iPads, they run for eternity on one charge anyway, so we didn't feel the need to do all the wiring up in the upper deck. And it just popped right out, and when it comes out, um, Chris really did a nice profile of where it recesses in. So anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to email us rotorcraftrc at gmail.com. Subscribe to our YouTube page. 
Facebook, we have live updated pictures almost every single day of Rotorcraft RC. Three words, Rotorcraft RC on Facebook. Thanks a lot, and I hope you all have a great day.